Hi everyone, my name is Liz and I'm a Norwalk sales consultant and I am going to show you guys all about the Ultra Power Plus. So um, this Norwex detergent, I am really excited to show you about because it actually lasts a really long time. So this is actually just a half uh, size bag. Many times the size will come in a host reward. So if you're somebody who's really curious about trying this out, a great way to try this out is many times hosting. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, just let me know. Um, it is a great way to just give it a shot and see if this is a laundry detergent that works for you. If not, of course, an alternative is just buying it and giving it a try as well. Um, but basically, um, the Norwex detergent does come with some directions on the back. My recommendation and most consultants recommendations is always going to be to ignore those. It's going to give you too much laundry detergent for your laundry um, purposes. So what you're gonna do is I normally recommend that people go out to a dollar store or take a teaspoon measuring spoon from their kitchen. Um, I have found this one that has little uh, magnets so this can actually stick on your um, washing machine. So if you have that option and you can find something like that, I find it's really versatile. And you only need one teaspoon for a high efficiency washer, okay? And if you have a regular washing machine, so an older style that is not high efficiency, to be honest, um, I often recommend to actually still start with half, or sorry, with a teaspoon and go from there because some older washing machines still actually do an excellent job even with a teaspoon and you don't necessarily need more than that. If you are finding that your clothes are still coming out with a scent of dirt, like if you're still having some um, smell in your laundry, then by all means up your like your detergent quantity, right? Um, you'll also find in some high efficiency washers you only need half a teaspoon. So these bags actually stretch quite a bit. So a lot of people will look at them and go, that's not a lot of laundry detergent. We are a family of six, four kids, two adults, um, as I said, this is a half size bag. Um, when you buy the bag, it's usually double this. And what we find is that usually one bag will last us between four to six months. So it's actually quite an economical laundry um, detergent. So personal suggestion is give it a shot and test it out for your family and see how that goes. Um, because it honestly, I am really personally impressed and I'm not gonna lie, when I first um, started using Norwex, now it's been, oh my word, 11 years? Yeah, 11 years ago, um, I never tried the laundry detergents at the beginning. I used other um, approved laundry detergents that were okay, and I sort of regret it because I realize now that economically wise, this would have been an excellent option and probably would have done us very well at the time. So I'm going to do some quick little demos. So two options here, because the laundry detergent does more than just laundry. So the cool thing about Norwex um, laundry detergent is that you can use it for multiple things. So one cool thing that you can do is you can actually make an all-purpose cleaner. And so I'm gonna show you how that works. So Norwex sells these forever bottles. They're really beautiful, so um, I love that because um, if you ever have to leave a cleaning product bottle on your counter, or let's say you have a someone stop by, or you know a spontaneous picture or something like that, um, it doesn't always look good when you have something like that in your home. But these bottles look beautiful in your home. You can literally leave them on your counter. They're safe. They're not. Um, they're not going to be filled with toxic chemicals or any of that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is you're just going to for these forever bottles. You're gonna fill them with 16 ounces of water. They're already basically ready to go. And you are going to fill them with two teaspoons of laundry detergent. So if you have a measuring, oops, sorry. If you have your measuring spoon, right? So I'm just gonna put this funnel right here and you're just going to put your first teaspoon and your second teaspoon right in there and it goes right in nice and simple screw on the cap so if you're a person who perhaps um, struggles with the idea of just water and the Norwex EnviroCloth for example to clean your home 
you can absolutely, now I've sealed that off, so I can give it just a little shake to get it nice and mixed. And it's making an all-purpose solution. So with this, this will help kind of cut the grease. So if you have an area in your home that you, you kind of prefer to have some sort of a solution for, um, but you don't know what else to use, you're like, I'm not sure what could be Norwex friendly, but you would like to have something um, for some reason, um, and water is just not cutting it, not, you know, and maybe you need something extra, or maybe you're just trying to transition from a toxic chemical. This is a great transition product you can use. Um, so some people find it really hard mind over matter to transition from a toxic chemical that they may have otherwise used in their home to just using water in an Enviro cloth or other Norwex products. And so doing something like this creates a solution um, that they can use in their home that is safe and Norwex safe for all of their cloths. So you can now go ahead and use this in your home. You can use it in your bathroom, in your kitchen, all over your home. And this will actually help um, on surfaces to break down grease and grime and things like that as well. So it just adds an extra little cleaning perk um, and just something extra that you can kind of keep around. So that's a great little option for you. Another thing I'm gonna show you right here. So I have a little container, so I'm gonna just tilt this down a little to my table. So right here I have a little, a little jar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clean my rings. So I haven't done this in a while, actually. So they're actually quite grimy. So I'm gonna take them off. But all you need to do is, I'm gonna take those off there, is you actually just need to take about a pinch or so of laundry detergent. I don't know, maybe two pinches, I'm not sure. Let's, let's do two, just in case. I really haven't cleaned my rings in a while. So I'm just gonna kind of swish it with my finger, just kind of the, there you go, clean it, like kind of break it up the laundry detergent. I have a small little Enviro cloth here um, that I'm gonna use later just to dry up my rings. Um, I'll just show you sort of what they look like. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they're not very shiny. They've actually haven't been probably properly cleaned in years. So I am going to just do a quick toss of my rings into here and you'll see them they're just sitting in the bottom with some of the laundry detergent. I think you can see that. So the laundry detergent is slowly breaking up. I may have actually put too much laundry detergent so really you only need a pinch. I may have done a little too much in here. So I've put in, I usually have three rings on my finger and so I've done that. Yeah, I've put way too much in here. Um, so <laughs> eager beaver over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a little look at them and you can actually like, I don't, in person you can see it already but they're, the, the focus is not very good. But they're already like glowing. Like you can already see a lot of the grime and stuff that's just kind of being cut just by the laundry detergent. You can always, if you have a ring like this, um, mine has little grooves in between. You can always swish it if you need in the water just to kind of loosen up anything else, that kind of thing. Just kind of, yeah. It shouldn't take too long. It actually breaks down the stuff pretty well. So I'm just going to take out one ring at a time. So I have my first ring right here. If you want to add a little polish, um, you can always take your window polishing cloth. You can see right there, it's pretty shiny. But it's a really easy and efficient way to kind of clean your jewelry yourself. And you don't need much, like really just your laundry detergent. Um, this, these ones as well, like these ones usually when I have to take them in, if I, in the past when I've taken them in to clean, they take a little while because there's lots of little grooves in it. So it's kind of neat to see how all of the dirt comes right out of each of the little grooves and that kind of thing. Other stuff you can also do with the laundry detergent, um, sort of like the cleaning paste is you can actually clean some of your grout, those sorts of areas. So, man, it's not really... 
it's not really focusing very well on the camera, but believe me, they're way shinier. Um, and maybe if the water settles down, maybe we'll be able to see if anything is floating better. There we go, the water is settling down a little bit. So I am just cleaning off the rings right now. Um, but there's so many things you can use it <clears throat> between, you can clean paint brushes, jewelry brushes. So if you have um, any of your makeup brushes, um, they're really awesome to clean that. You can actually make a little pa uh, paste or put them, um, take one of actually our silicone uh, cup covers and you can put that in your sink and you can actually make a little paste. You could actually even take the leftovers after you clean your jewelry and you can actually use this, either let them soak in the water or you can take this and you can actually rub it um, against one of the little silicone mats. They actually sell those little mats. Um, you can buy specifically to, bat, to clean your brushes, but instead you can have that one product that's already just to cover your cups and then um, use the Norwex laundry detergent as a way to clean your brushes. And you're basically using um, two products in different ways just to stretch your buck again. Um, so yeah, so you can do all sorts of things. Um, I'm going to uh, share some other ideas as well with you guys uh, with this post. So feel free to check those out. Um, but you obviously with all of your Norwex cloths, you can also soak them. So if you're needing to do in between cleans, feel free to do, uh, make a solution like this and kind of keep it on hand. And if you ever need to do an extra clean or a cloth is getting really grimy, to add that into like a bucket and let it soak for a bit, give it a scrub and then rinse it out, um, that sort of thing. Uh, you can do garden pots, grow in tiles I mentioned, your shower and tub. So again, make a solution. Do that sort of thing if that is something that is really helpful to you. You can also use it on your floors. So if you have some area in your home where you're needing a little bit of extra cleaning or you really want need a, a little bit of extra product because again, you're transitioning from just water to Norwex and that's a little, or sorry, from uh, other chemical products to Norwex and that's a jump. This is a great idea. Or if you have stuff on your floors that is really needing an extra clean. So sometimes when people transition from using a regular mop to a Norwex mop, they sometimes find that there's already a chemical residue on their floors and they need to almost um, not strip their floors, but they almost need to strip that chemical residue right off the top. Sometimes we'll suggest as consultants to do something like this and to do almost like a bucket of or like a spray solution and then use that water um, for the first couple of times just to help break down all of that chemical residue that is sitting on your floors. So you can imagine the same thing when you're transitioning from toxic chemical cleaners to Norwex. Sometimes that might happen in other areas of your home as well, and this is a great option for that. Um, again, stainless steel appliances, vent hood screens. So this is a big one. If you have those vent hood screens, like most people do in their homes, above their stoves and their ovens, you can actually fill your sink with water and just, I usually would suggest take about a teaspoon, maybe two, but usually about a teaspoon into your filled sink. I usually do about warm, hot water. Um, and then take your vent screens and you can just let them soak in there. And you will be amazed at how, like, how clean they get. So you're just gonna get let them soak. And then afterwards, um, sometimes they'll need a little bit of a, just a gentle scrubbing just to remove a little bit more of the grease but it'll help break down any of the grease and debris that are stuck in your vent hoods. And it's a really easy way to clean them um, and it'll make them look shiny and like brand new. So really amazing. You can spot clean laundry. So again, another idea is doing a solution like this. If you need more higher concentration in your solution, of course, add a little bit more Ultra Power Plus if this solution is good for you, then keep it at what it is, but then you have it always on hand. Okay, and then another tip that I'm gonna give you guys, and then um, I think that's it, I'll share some more um, in the post, is to steam clean your carpet. So if you have a carpet cleaner, or if you've even renting one, you can actually use the Ultra Power Plus in your carpet cleaner, and it'll help lift and remove and clean all of your carpets really, really well. And because it helps break down organic matter and things like that, you will find that it'll do a much better job 
at cleaning out what is stuck in your carpets than a lot of conventional options that are out there. So um, anything that is stuck, especially if you have maybe pets or again, kids or situations where maybe um, items have been dropped on the floor, it does an amazing job of cleaning those things up. So anyway, I could go on with so many ideas that you can do with this, but I will post some ideas in the post and I hope that you found some value. If you have more questions, please ask them. I would love to help you with that.